You wanna know the secret to faster editing? Don't use a keyboard. If you're using a keyboard, you are at least 20% slower, if not more. Keyboards were not designed to help you edit. Now you can argue with me and say, Armando, I have shortcuts, I have presets, I am efficient and fast. And to that, I will say no. Keyboards do not have things that editing panels do. Keyboards are just a bunch of keys and you're good if you're just going to be typing and that's great, it's good for Word documents, but for editing, they are not that great. This is why professionals use editing panels because you are a lot more efficient, things are just methodically placed where they should. You have knobs, keyboards do not have knobs. Uh, you might have a volume knob, but that's about it. And there's just a lot of things that the keyboard does not have. And I'm gonna show you guys how much quicker and faster you can be by using a panel. I've been using panels now for over a year. I've been using the one from Palette. It has worked out great. Loop Deck reached out and said, hey, you wanna try out our panel and let us know what you think and make a video. And I said, sure, I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think. Been using this now for several weeks and I freaking love it. I really believe that this thing has helped me not only become faster, but also more efficient in things in which I am about to show you. Now, I also told them, you know, I really like your product and you know, thanks for sending one now, but what if we give one away to one of my audience. I think I really like it so much that I want you guys to experience it. So one of you guys will be the lucky winner of a Loop Deck editing panel. So make sure to stick around and I'll show you guys how you can be eligible to win one. So let's go ahead and begin and show you guys how I edit and color grade my videos. So at first glance, it might seem a little intimidating just because there are a lot of different buttons and knobs. And the good thing is that most of the stuff is labeled and what you see is exactly what you're going to get. For example, you see here it says temperature, highlights, and you can only imagine this will adjust the temperature, the highlights, the shadows, the blacks. But there are other keys like for example, C1, C2, P1. What do these keys do? Well, I'm about to show you. Now, I've programmed mine differently so you can set yours up the way you want, but they do have this really cool interface. You can see it works on After Effects, Audition, Aurora, Capture One, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and if you're on a Mac, you can also use this on Final Cut Pro. So obviously right now, I'm using this with Premiere Pro, so I will leave it in Premiere Pro, but if I want to change, for example, what my D1 does, or for example, my C1, all I need to do is push on it or click on it, and then it will tell me here, it'll bring up a menu where I can pre-configure it and have it do literally just about anything. And literally it is about just about anything. This is where things get handy. So right now the way I edit is really simple. I usually use my mouse, obviously. I keep this on the right side because I am right-handed, but everything, all the magic happens on this side. So I keep all of the stuff that I mainly use on the left-hand side. So for example, if I'm looking at this clip here, if I push, let's say for example, on the control, this little control button, it will start to play. So now if I want to speed it up a little bit quicker, two times, if I push on this, it'll be two times, eight times, 16 times, stop. For me, it makes it a lot easier. If I want to go back, oops, I missed something. All I hit is this one. So all of my controls are right here. So if I want to play forward, back. Now, a lot of times I like to copy effects and paste them into for example, other clips, or let's say I like this particular clip here, and let's say I wanna reuse this clip, I can hit copy, go over here, hit paste, and that ends up working out really good. Now, the time saver of this thing is, a lot of times when I'm doing B-roll, a lot of times I'm trying to find the clips that I am more interested, like the in and out points. So let's go ahead and just use this one here, I guess. Uh, this is one of the CFast card where I'm displaying it. So let's say, for example, I want to start my clip there. That looks really good. So I will push on C3. That creates my endpoint, and then I can just move the cursor. Okay, I'm looking at my CFast card, and then right about right there, as I flip it over, I want it to stop. So I will push on C4. That creates my in and out point. And then what happens next? I want that clip to go to my timeline. No problem. If I push on D2, boom, it will automatically go to my timeline. So really quickly, I can look through all of my B-roll clips. So if I can go here, scrub through them, create my in and out points, push on D2 and it sends it to my timeline, it just saves me a ton of time. And it just makes it so much easier. A lot of times also when I'm editing, again, all of the magic happens on this side for me. If I'm editing this clip and say, ooh, I made a mistake right there, I wanna cut, I push C1, it cuts my clip, and then let's say I wanna cut right there, I create another cut, now I want to ripple delete, meaning I wanna get rid of the highlighted clip, I will push on C2 and that will get rid of it. So once again, I will show you guys. So let's say I want this here, I wanna cut here, cut here, oh, ripple delete that, oops, undo, 
I want to cut here, and let's say I want to cut right there, and then ripple delete that, very simple. Or let's just say I want to ripple delete this whole entire clip right here. Um, let's just say right there. I just want to get rid of it, boom, ripple delete very easily, very quickly. But where this really shines is in the color grade. That's where I love to use it the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my color tab just so that you guys can see what's going on. So right now, let's go ahead and just select the clip here. I'll just use this one for reference. Right now, I'm looking at this clip. It seems a little bit overexposed, no problem. I can just look at, for example, my exposure, or let's say my highlights. I actually wanna bring my highlights down. I can just turn this knob, and you'll notice, this is why I wanted to open up the color tab, is the highlight slider is going down. And I'll show you, I can go up, I can go down. Obviously, I wanna bring it down. That looks pretty good right there. Let's say I wanna bring up my shadows, no problem. I can just bring up my shadows. And I typically do not have to look or be in my color tab. I'm usually editing and I don't have to have this open because I don't need a point of reference. I'm looking at this and I usually, that's how I edit, everybody's different, but I edit by look and feel. If it looks good to me, I usually leave it alone. Uh, if I want to full screen mode this whole thing, I can just push on this. Now I am in full screen mode. For me, it makes it so much easier to color grade because now I am seeing everything much bigger. It's blown up. So now I can make those adjustments. So I'm looking at this clip in full screen mode and I know that I want to make this a lot warmer. So I just go to my temperature slider and then warm it up. And that looks, there it is. Ooh, that looks really, really good right there. Now I can exit full screen mode. So now I can see everything, my timeline. Speaking of timeline, for example, typically the way I would usually do it back in the day, if I wanted to, let's say, make an edit, like for example, on the audio part. So I wanna make a cut right there. You see, I have to use my mouse and do this. I don't do that anymore. So for example, if I wanna see my whole entire timeline, I push on D1, boom, it displays it there. If I wanna just pinpoint that exact area, I can just zoom in like this very easily. So you can see, boom, boom. If I wanna see my whole timeline, perfectly set, push on it, there we go. So again, just once you memorize everything, it just makes it so much quicker. So for example, I wanna make a cut here, and then I wanna ripple delete that. Okay, I wanna look at my timeline, D1, perfect. In and out points, color grade, it's all just really, really quick. Now, for example, if I wanna fine tune my color grade, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move or show you guys here from my color wheel, I have my shadows, my midtones, and my highlights. This is where you can edit that up here. So for example, uh, hue, saturation, and luma are not exactly hue, saturation, and luma. So hue is highlight. So if I make adjustments, if I wanna make those fine tune adjustments, so for example, if I go to my hue, which is going to adjust my highlights, let's say for example, I want it a little bit more, uh, let's just say green, but then, ooh, I made a mistake. I can go ahead and move this little dial. Let me just move my cursor here, and you'll see it goes from left to right. But let's say I want it a little bit more red. This knob makes the adjustments of going up and down, left and right, and I can adjust also the highlight intensity so I can bring it up or bring it down. So if I push on saturation, that's going to be my midtones. So you see here, I can adjust. This is more for fine tuning. I will say though, I do prefer, there are editing panels that have like tracking balls. So I actually prefer if it did, I'm hoping that in a future update, maybe like version 2.0, they have tracking balls. Just because for me, it just gives you more precise controls. But currently that's the way you can set this up. Now remember, you can program these to do whatever you want. So for example, P1 can be one of your favorite LUTs that you have. So if you push on P1, in my case, P1 will actually bring me to my timeline. And this just makes it so much easier to edit. And I've been using panels now for over a year. And for me, panels is just the way to go. If you're editing any type of videos, you have to use a panel to understand how much more quicker and efficient you will be. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be giving one of these away and I'm gonna make it so simple. All I need you to do is obviously like this video, share it on your favorite social media, so there's no requirements. Facebook is your jam, go ahead, Twitter's your jam, but I will be checking, so if I pick you as a winner, I need to see, I'm gonna backdate and see if you actually shared it, so make sure to share it. And then really, all you need to do is comment down below, because that's really where I'm gonna be picking the winner, is why you wanna win one of these. The most creative answer is going to be the one that I pick. And I will be picking the winner two weeks from the time I upload this video. So I can't give you a date because I don't really know when I'm gonna upload this video, but two weeks from the date that you see somewhere, or is it below or down here, I forget. But anyway, in two weeks, I will be announcing the winner and I will post it on Twitter. So make sure to follow me there if you wanna see who the winner is. And I will also do an Instagram story. So if you follow me on Instagram, I will link it to my Twitter. But in any case, uh, if you guys have never used an editing panel, it's definitely a must have and I can tell you, 
your workflow will be much quicker. Everything will just be much faster. Believe me, you don't need the keyboard unless you're typing something. Other than that, this is the way to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching. You will catch me in the next one. Adios.